Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe and I am back with another episode of The Kardashians. In the last episode, the Garcia family took a trip to Salva Dorada because Mario is going through a midlife crisis and he wanted to do something adventurous. Claudia really does want to make things work with her husband, but being that he's going through this midlife crisis right now, it's stirring up a lot of different emotions in him and it's starting to take a toll on their marriage. She's trying to flirt with him. So Claudia has been trying to keep busy and she's been trying to keep her mind off of everything that's been going on in her marriage. So she has been trying to pick up a few hobbies and she's also been trying to keep her friends around her. So we are going to be hosting a small wind down Sunday for a couple of her friends. I haven't met them yet, but I just need Claudia to get out of her head. We're going to have Arlene cook for us and put something together. Arlene is so thirsty. She wants to become best friends with Carmen. And honestly, I really don't trust Arlene. I definitely think that Arlene has ulterior motives. I'm not gonna say yes, because Carmen would never. Arlene needs to go ahead and get started on the food. Claudia loves cucumber sandwiches, so let's do a party size of those. Claudia is researching woohoo techniques right now. It can be a little gratifying to see someone suffering, depending on the someone. I think she's talking about Mario because he has a massive hangover and he just got sprayed by a skunk, though so he's feeling really uncomfortable right now. When you're finished researching your woo techniques, let's go ahead and call over Tanya and Sandra. I think Arlene wants to be one of the girls, that's why she's carrying on the way that she is. Mario, she is on the phone. How rude. Why is Mario in the kitchen smoking a cigar? And where is the caviar? Mario's like, so you're having a girl's night? Yes, Mario, I am. Is there a problem? Arlene, you are on duty right now. So let's go ahead and buy some alcohol for the ladies. I think we're going to do a red wine tonight. And Mario is helping himself to our snacks go watch football or something go figure your life out go get some work done claudia absolutely needs some girlfriends around her right now especially during this time oh yeah did i mention that camilla is not here she actually decided to stay with q mario we didn't call you to wine down with us Okay, everybody grab your drinks. Okay, okay, it's whatever. <laughs> Let's go sit by the pool, ladies. I think it's nice outside. We can enjoy the nice weather, although they're dressed like they just got off of work, but this is time for Claudia right now. This is not about the rest of the family, okay? I guess this was okay. I mean, it was cute. Honestly, I would have preferred to have done it without our family being here because I feel like they were all in the way, but I don't think the ladies noticed. You're leaving already? Wait, you don't have to leave now, do you? She's like, actually, I do. I have to get home to my husband. Let's reveal our relationship problems with her. Claudia definitely needs someone to talk to right now, so she's just going to let anyone have it. Maybe that'll make her feel a little bit better. And maybe we can ask her for advice. Mario, seriously? Okay, Claudia has learned that Tanya is married to Tyler. Nice, maybe we can do like a couple's night or something. Once we get our relationship together, Mario's like, really, mom? I mean, you know, once we figure things out, of course. Okay, Mario, you need something to do, honestly. You're all in their conversation. Go, like, play the piano or something. And Mario does have friends, you guys, but they did just get back from Selva Dorada, so everybody's just relaxing still. That doesn't give Mario an excuse to be all in our conversation, but I think I want Mario to train the dogs. He has been working on his art, and he's also been working on his beanies for his Plopsy store. But I would really like for him to start focusing on the dogs. 
He's gonna add to his Simstagram story. I feel like Mario might actually be pretty popular. Wow, his social media is really going up. Um, Claudia, what are you doing? She also wants to talk over her relationship fears with Mario. We're gonna have her wake him up out of his sleep so we can discuss this. We need to get to the bottom of this. Their relationship is just going downhill. Mario, you are really letting this midlife crisis come between you and your wife. Tanya recommended that she separate from Mario. Reveal that a friend recommended a separation. We're going to do it. She had a conversation with Tanya about her relationship problems with her husband. Why? Oh my gosh. No way. Claudia and Mario now despise each other. Maybe we can talk through our problems too. He's insulting her. He's like, so you had a little wine with your girls and they're suggesting that you separate from me? This is bad. Let's have him call her over because I don't want the kids to hear all of this. I mean, they're grown, but still, they don't want to be discussing their marital issues in front of the kids. Yes, Mario? Flirty rebuff, don't they know that flirty behavior is totally creepy? While we were in Selva Dorada, Mario self-discovered that he is unflirty. Now she's trying to be flirty with her husband and he has completely checked out. But I feel really bad for her because he has- He has officially checked out and she's still trying. Talk about relationship fears with him. Claudia has a fear of being cheated on. She's like, Mario, I don't want to lose you. He's like, Claudia, you were never going to lose me. You're delusional. And put some clothes on. Oh my goodness, why is he fussing at her like that? Blind accusations from being accused of cheating. Trust and communication are key to any relationship, but those could easily be shattered by someone throwing around blind accusations. Just get some rest. I think he has work in the morning, so let's have him get some rest. I don't want him going to work with this on his mind. Something a cheater would say from fear of being cheated on. It's easy to blow someone off with empty dismissals, but Claudia knows the truth. Or maybe she just fears the truth and is trying so hard to make it true. Claudia, you know you did this to yourself, right? You absolutely did this to yourself, honey. I wonder if she should start writing books. I wonder if she would be into that. Let's have her start documenting. How dare they? From flirty compliment denied. Things really escalated in Selva Dorada when Shannon thought he was being funny and asked Mr. Garcia about their woohoo life. And I guess that's when things clicked for Claudia and she realized that they don't woohoo as much as she would like for them to. Claudia gives self-help biography vibe so we're gonna call this one the genesis or the exodus for the woman questioning her marriage i think i want carmen to spend some time with shannon soon she seems to be really bored here without her sister carmen sure. your arms are really hairy honey and they seem to be getting hairier what's going on let's call camilla and see how she's doing Oh wow, I did not know that they were not close like that. And let's call Celeste. Oh my god, she said what? I'm sleeping, call later. Interesting. Mario is having a glass of wine for breakfast and he has work in three hours. Why? Why are we doing this? And where is Denzel? Where is breakfast? He's going for a second glass of wine. 
Mario, let's ask Denzel to make you something for breakfast and then you can chat with your son. The drinking has got to stop. Let's do the obsidian eggs and toast for Mario. Yikes, Duke has been bitten by a squirrel. Squirrel bites may cause illness, so keep an eye on your furry friend. Are you joking? Glass number three. You need to eat your breakfast. And what is up with all the squirrels in the area? Thank you, Denzel. Denzel, I thought you made that for me. We're gonna argue with Denzel. Imagine arguing with the person that serves you. That is bizarre. We're gonna send Mario to work. Actually, no, we shouldn't have sent him to- Oh my god. What is happening? Why are his eyes like that? Mario is ex- Mario is exhausted. He's not gonna make it to work. Greetings. You may wish to know we've taken up residency nearby. I suppose you could visit if you must. I guess so. We'll see you in a couple of hours. Mario ended up going to work, so I guess we'll visit the neighbor a little bit later. Let's have her send Shannon a text message and see how he's feeling today. Oh, I didn't know that we were inviting him over. So the last time we saw Shannon was in Selvadorada and he stirred up quite a bit of drama between our parents. Claudia is gonna go research woohoo techniques again. We always have a risky client. What kind of law firm is this? A prospective client approaches Mario hoping to hire him for a case. It seems like a straightforward win which would provide a much needed windfall for the firm. Something about the client doesn't sit right with Mario. Should he take or refuse the case? We're gonna take it this time. Mario should have trusted his gut. Are you kidding me? The last time we trusted our gut, we screwed over the firm. Mario should have trusted his gut. The client has been fabricating records to prove his chances of winning the case. Now, not only is the case going to be a loss on Mario's record, but the client has no means or intention of paying for the firm's services. With the firm's financial situation going from bad to worse, Mario is berated for accepting the risky client in the first place. This is really bad. They are eating him alive at work and I'm really starting to worry about him. I feel like like he might be a little bit nervous because he's gonna be in the presence of Carmen's parents again and I think he knows that he stirred up all that drama in Selva Dorada. And then Mario, how about you invite someone over while Shannon is here? Let's invite Eric over. Claudia is extremely tired and for some reason she is avoiding sleep so I'm gonna send her off to bed. Eric is here. Oh, Eric said I will let myself in. I definitely think that Carmen is missing her sisters right now and she just needed to see Shannon. Thanks for making me feel loved. I love you too. What's up with him? Oh my god, what did he just say to her? Hey, Shannon, what is up with you? Every time you come over, you always seem to have a really strange attitude. Shannon's like, I just want you to move in with me. I know we've talked about it in the past. I'm tired of coming to your parents' house. I mean, your butler's all in our conversation. Okay, Denzel, can you like get me something to drink, please? She's trying to change the subject. I do think that she wants to keep her options open. That's why she doesn't want to move in with Shannon right now. And I mean, life's good at home, but now that her sister is no longer here, I do feel like she might... Honestly, I don't know what she might do now that her sister isn't here. Ask if Shannon has children. That's kind of random, but we'll ask him. And then let's ask about his relationship goals. Like, are you trying to get married or do you just want me to move in with you just because you don't want to come to Del Sol? He said, I am a parent. I have one 
child. And then he said, I haven't really thought about that stuff, to be honest. I mean, you're the one trying to convince me to move in with you. And anyway, what do you mean? Wait, you're leaving? This conversation isn't over. I had no idea that Shannon had a kid. Mario should be thinking about what his next steps are as well. And at his age, he should be out exploring and living life. He just wants to be at home under his mom, as you can see. So maybe we need to get him out of the house a little bit more and away from his mom. Claudia needs to start bringing her girlfriends around more often. And for some reason, she cannot sleep. I think it's the coffee buzz. Did Mario really ask him to give him a foot massage? He's like, yeah, man, anytime, I guess. Okay, that was weird. I'm starting to think that Mario might have a slight case of social anxiety. It says that he has a fear of crowded places. He wants to be funny in a crowded place. Mario might be uncomfortable around crowded places, but that does not need to stop him from being funny. Mario feels ready to get out there and overcome his insecurities around a large group of sims. Interesting. Mario just got off of work and he hasn't even made it inside of the house yet and he is smoking a cigar. He is spiraling right now and he's tipsy. He went to work drunk. He's still tipsy. Oh, did I just see Celeste go into our neighbor's house? The neighbor did invite Mario over earlier, but he had to go to work. But now that he's off and he's feeling confident, I think we can stop by our neighbor's house to see what's tea. I love that he's waiting for us at the door. Let's give him a respectful introduction. And honestly, Mario is hoping that he has maybe some wine or some beer. Look, he's already thinking about it. He's like, I would love some wine and a charcuterie board. He's like, hey, thanks for coming. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself to, you know, the neighbors. We should send Claudia a text and let her know that we're here. He's like... I've got to text my wife. Hold on. Celeste? Yes, daddy? He's like, so what do you know about this guy? Dad, I don't know. I met him while I was here visiting you guys. Oh, he made us a fruit salad. Wait, is this his kid? I saw that he brought out some drinks, so let's grab one. I don't want him to turn into an alcoholic, but I feel like we're already there, so we might as well grab a drink our neighbor did not make us fruit salad and martinis for no reason and honestly since claudia knows that we are here right now i think she's going to come over it's a family affair i know claudia did not come over here in her pajamas i know we live down the street but really she's feeling uncomfortable yuck from secondhand smoke now she's feeling angry, simmering rage from feeling bitter about someone nearby. He's like, yeah, Ivan, this is my wife, Claudia. Give him a respectful introduction. Ew, what is up with him? This is really awkward. She's like, yeah, my husband and I are going through a war right now, if you know what I mean. Look at dad trying to act like nothing's going on. Oh my god, she's getting even more upset, and he's really just trying to make her feel comfortable. Honestly, do you have a drink? He's like, yeah, I've got some uh, martinis over there if you'd like. Yeah, how about you grab a drink, Claudia? How embarrassing. And I think she's really disgusted that her husband is having a good time. Look at him, he's feeling really playful right now, and she hates to see it. <laughs> She's like, so how's the book coming along, mom? He's like, what book? 
Why do I feel like they're going tit for tat? I feel like Claudia is doing the most right now. And honestly, if he keeps this up, Claudia might just start going out and dating, honey. She already feels like he's cheating and he's not. He said, what's going on? Why does Mario feel this way? Why has life taken such a negative turn? Oh, wow. Whisper in her ear. Just curious. Oh my god, why are they fighting at the neighbor's house? What is going on? Oh my god. And he got beat up. Taking a good licking can make a sim feel a bit dazed. I did see that she leveled up her fitness skill earlier. Was she practicing? Yes. No wonder Claudia was working out earlier. This is really scary. And I feel like they are on the verge of divorce. First fight ever. Turns out fighting hurts, yet Mario is not sure that he will never do it again. Fight witness from witnessing a fight. Celeste isn't feeling too good after watching her friend lose that fight. We're gonna yell at both of them because what are you doing? Why are you guys putting your hands on each other? And why are you acting like this at the neighbor's house? Just let it go. Mario can't help but feel frustrated about Celeste clinging to the other side of that argument. In a perfect world, they both would have just let it rest and talked about something else. Did this mean that Mario dislikes arguments? We'll say yes. New family dynamic. Difficult. I don't think that Mario and Celeste have a difficult relationship, but I do think that seeing her parents fight made things weird for her. So I'm going to say yes. And she's still trying to flirt with him. Let it go, Claudia. He is not interested. Really? How cruel. And now he's smoking a cigar in the neighbor's house. She's like, so what are you doing over here anyway, Celeste? You and dad need to go right now. He's... He is in Ivan's bed right now. You're joking, right? You're kidding me. Okay, I think it's time to go. I think we have disrespected this man's home enough. And I think it's time to go. He is so drunk and battered. You should... <gasps> We're gonna go. Love you. Give me a call when you get home, okay? It's looking like your parents are gonna split up. So maybe you can possibly move in with Celeste. That would be cute for you. Otherwise, you can move in with Shannon, but you have romance with Denzel. No wonder Denzel was all in their conversation earlier. He's deeply in love with Carmen. I did notice that Carmen and Denzel were close in the first episode, but I didn't think that it was to this extent. It says that Denzel is deeply in love with Carmen and that's why he was so upset earlier when she was chatting with Shannon. Carmen, you're sleeping with the butler? I don't think that Carmen is sleeping with Denzel. I do think that they might flirt a little bit. I just want to see what's tea. He's like, I didn't like that earlier, Carmen. You know, I thought we had something going on. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I spoke too soon. No wonder she never wanted to move in with Shannon. Thanks, Denzel. 
responsible woohooing, first woohoo wasn't their first time. I know that was not their first time. Interesting tips and tricks from researching woohoo technique. Claudia found some interesting ideas while researching how to improve her woohoo technique. It got her imagination going. And she's feeling sad because her husband is rejecting her. I didn't know that she was close with Celeste. She doesn't really have a relationship with Carmen. That's interesting. I think we're going to take time off because he's messed up. Mario got beaten up. He's contemplating life. He's a mess. Mario just knitted something new. So the hat that Mario is wearing right now is one of his creations. I know it looks a little ridiculous, but I mean, he's just marketing his product. She's researching her woohoo technique. Maybe Shannon just isn't that great at woohoo. That could be a thing. Maybe that's why she's sleeping with Denzel. I'm starting to worry about her. Yeah, life is too good for you right now. <laughs> Let's invite April over and maybe we can like grab some boba or something with her. In the midst of a midlife crisis, Mario has decided fitness is his thing and wants to do it more often. I guess that's what we're gonna start doing. Maybe he can do that instead of smoking cigars. Woohoo response, yes, I can't wait. Well, we know it's not mom, because mom's in here with Mario. Carmen, what are you and your arms doing out here? She's fake crying on April, like, girl, I know, I know, I can't believe I'm sleeping with him either, but, I mean, April is supposed to be your friend. April is your best friend, and you're flirting with her, and you asked her to woohoo? I know she doesn't have crabs. Denzel gave you crabs, Carmen. What are you doing? What are you doing? We need to go to the doctor. Maybe she can go with you. I guess we need to go get tested for WTDs. We're gonna have her go with April. Oh no, he's addicted to nicotine. How many more? Oh, he doesn't have any more cigars left. Good for you, Mario. Maybe after he smoked his last cigar, he's like, I'll just get into fitness instead. Now that Claudia feels like she's losing her husband, I do want her to try to do things around the house to get his attention. So tonight, we are cooking dinner. Let's do the baked salmon. That's pretty easy. Hey Carmen, it's me, Shannon. Love is in the air, don't you think? We should take this opportunity and go out on a date. Mario, you made curry goat and rice? says she doesn't have any WTDs, so I think she might need to go to the wonderful store. She should be on birth control at the rate that she's going. And let's get some chill pills. Mom, is the food ready? Oh, the food is ready. It looks good too. She didn't do a bad job. Is it Shannon? Hi, Carmen, it's me. So is that date still happening? Today has been very interesting, to say the least. Carmen is going to do the night rose. Let's do a classic old fashioned for Shannon. I feel like that might be his dream. I'll have Carmen do the filet. Shannon will do the lamb with veggies. Not him complaining. Kind of awkward that we're here after we woohooed with Denzel. Let's chit chat with Shannon a little bit. He was hinting about us moving in with him, but honestly, I don't think that she's ready for that. She does have the serial romantic aspiration, and as you can see, she is really trying to fulfill that on her own. She does have to reach level four in charisma and have three first kisses. Did she have a first kiss with Denzel? 
only person that I've known her to have a first kiss with has been Shannon. This is so crazy. I was saying that she should move in with her sister Celeste. So there's a possibility that we might move them in with each other. You all let me know what you think about that. Okay, and let's do some dessert. Carmen's gonna do the matcha tea cake and Shannon's gonna do the dark chocolate souffle. Talk about previous woohoo partners. Why does she wanna do that? Oh, that looks delicious. Well, the date is going really well. They're really enjoying each other's company, which is good. But Carmen, you need to get back on it, honey. Maybe she's just not feeling inspired at home anymore, you know? Her sister finally moved out after the two years that she was there. Her parents are on the verge of a divorce. He's happily in love. I feel really bad because I know that Shannon really loves her. What is she doing? Giving him a massage in the middle of the restaurant? Why do I feel like we are the only ones here right now? This is actually a nice restaurant. There weren't many people in here, which was a great thing, so... Love that for us. Oh my god, he brought her flowers. Thank you, Shannon. I feel so guilty. Why do I feel guilty? She should feel guilty. Okay, we're gonna head home. What is he doing? Why do I feel like Shannon is going to- Shannon, let's take a picture before... I don't have my camera. I thought I had my camera on me. See? You're slacking, Carmen. You don't even have your camera on you. Next time, you'll remember to bring your camera. Oh, Dad's still in here working out. He's doing yoga now. He's craving nicotine, but we've discovered fitness, so we're just going to stay on our fitness kit. Daddy? Is everything okay? She really does not have a relationship with anyone in her family except for Celeste and Mario somewhat. MJ, let's give him relationship advice. You know, you and mom just need to work this out. He's like, I, I, I don't want to hear it from you, Carmen. Seriously. Sorry, dad. I just thought that, you know, you and mom could just figure something out. You're so grumpy. Right in his day, he's like, you need to reduce the amount of water that you're using upstairs. She's like, for what? To save the world, obviously. I wonder where Denzel is. I kind of want to mess with him. Denzel's over here pretending to be busy. She's already going to do it herself. She's coming over here to complain about the bills to Denzel. It's not like you're the one paying them. This is weird. So what's up with you and your little boyfriend? You guys went on a date? Something's up with Denzel. Are you ever going to shave your arms, or is that how Denzel likes it? Dad's upstairs relaxing in the sauna again. He wants to get a promotion from being a renaissance sim. Interesting. Well, I think we're going to send him off to work, but at the rate that he's going, I highly doubt that he has a promotion in his future. Mario and Claudia need to work together to work through this because Mario can't go through this alone. They forgot to pay the bills. The land grab power company has shut off your power to the house. 
pay your bills to get it turned back on. They actually cut off the water and the power. How are we supposed to take a shower this morning? Mom, wake up. Mom? Yeah, they turned off the water and the lights. Did you forget to pay? She's like, oh shoot, I did forget. Hold on. This is crazy. I feel so bad for her. Carmen, do you have a moment to chat? I've got the wildest story to tell you. She's calling Carmen to give her the tea, and I'm here for it. Why is Denzel complaining? Let's give him some simoleons. Let's give him a thousand dollars. Mom? Uh-huh. What are you doing in here? Nothing, son. Just chatting with Denzel. What's going on? Mario, I think you need to get out of the house. I really do. I don't like seeing you under your mom all the time. The girls are going to be talking about how all you do is hang around your mom and you're always in her business. She's complaining about the bills. Oh my god, I totally forgot that we need to pay our bills. It's happening. Shannon Walsh is so utterly smitten with Carmen Garcia that he is proposing marriage. I just had a feeling that he was going to propose. Something told me that he wanted to do it last night, but he got cold feet. I don't think that she would deny his proposal, but I also don't think that they would rush into marriage. We're gonna say of course, but I think that Shannon is going to want us to move in with him right away. So we're engaged. You're engaged with crab lice. <gasps> he just asked her to move in again. I knew this was coming. She's gonna say okay just so he'll stop asking her about it and we'll see how things go. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to see more of the Garcias aka the Kardashians, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part of the episode was and leave a green heart in the comment section as well. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next episode.